I'm not gonna indulge more into explaining what's uh, the features of the controlled vocab databases such as the explode which is the wow of the medical databases the focus on the subheadings I'm just gonna be uh, or get enough with this part of our sessions of doing the mesh or the controlled vocab in, in case of mbase it's called m3 searching okay so we have to search for the controlled vocab rather than searching for the keywords in the mesh databases or the controlled vocab databases we can go about searching either the mesh searching way and the keyword searching way versus the keyword databases i can only look up mentioning so for example if i look up mad cow in google I'll be looking for a madman kicked the cow, a mad cow uh, was passing, uh, the mad cow was looking into a cow, a mad in the very first word in the title and cow, I'll be looking for it in the, maybe the last uh, word in the citations. Um, but if I look into mad cow in PubMed, which is a medical database, bibliographic database, I'll be looking into the disease. Where do the medical databases usually look up information for me? In the citation, the abstracts, and the subject headings. In the abstracts, the keywords of the authors are included. Versus if I look in Google, which is a keyword database, I'll be looking into the bibliography, plus the full text, the referencing, the appendices, so on and so forth. Okay, so I'll be looking in specifically the bibliography in the controlled vocab databases and I'm looking for articles that are talking about the subject indexing versus I'm looking about mentioning which makes this a smart way of looking into searching and efficient because I'm looking effectively to uh, get articles in less amount of time who has the time nowadays the cost of finding so much information and tsunami of information don't be excited of finding so much information nobody has the time to look into them to know whether they're reliable or not and these are reliable resources done by indexers who are subject specialists in pubmed and medline since medline takes the information from pubmed and puts it in a nicer platform it is done by the national library of medicine mbase is 50 percent medline more into drug European content keyword databases we're looking only into the mentioning and then we're doing a silly search so everybody thinks that we are doing the right thing but we're actually not so let's get back to the example of PubMed so how we should be uh, how we should we should we do the chemotherapy for colorectal cancer liver metastasis so I'm gonna break down the topic into concept it's perioperative chemotherapy colorectal cancer and metastasis in PubMed since the boolean operator by default is and between them so if I came and said breast cancer it will be looking up for me that breast cancer disease but make sure that it always searches for me this way for example if I write brain CT I would expect millions of results however what I got is the author it takes the uh, family name and the initials how do I fix this? It didn't understand that there's a boolean operator and between them, so I would come and put it. Wow, I got so many results. No, I just don't stop there. I have to come and check for the search details again and again. It captured the brain. It's always going to capture for me the mesh, which is the controlled vocab, along with the keywords. Because it accounts for people who enter the data and people who index the data there's a gap difference between them according to the quality of the journal so new england journal of medicine it wouldn't take so much for it to get indexed like lebanese medical journal when it was indexed but it didn't understand for me the ct the abbreviation so it doesn't always understand the abbreviation so always come and check this is in the old pubmed in the new pubmed if i'm gonna do the same brain ct example and i'm gonna remedy it by doing brain and computer tomography for it to understand the CT as a mesh. Where is the search details? You wouldn't be finding it here. You'll have to go to the advanced and then go to the 
search details. Okay, so back again. If I want to do the example that I told you about, which is perioperative chemotherapy, colorective cancer metastasis, there's a default and between them. So I can do this in PubMed, but I'm not saying yes until I come to the advanced search, see if it were.